I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Pisces, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got the Four of Wands. And it's with the Queen of Pentacles. Now, the Four of Wands, 11-11. That's the card above the word pass. This card is actually the marriage and commitment card in the tarot. Or it could be about long term. So this is telling me that the relationship or the person that you were dealing with, things got serious. Yeah. The relationship could have become a whole lot more committed. Up to and including potential marriage. Yeah, you could have felt like this person was the end-all, be-all. And you both wanted a relationship with each other. It's a beautiful card in the deck. You see the way these two people, they're holding hands and their hands are wrapped in ribbon and they're staring into each other's eyes. A lot of people know how difficult that is. Yeah. They're, they're into each other's soul. And they're smiling like, oh, like a well-lit Christmas tree. And that's how you and your person felt about each other. Now, because this was the Queen of Pentacles, the card that's below the word pass, this is telling me that your person might have wanted to kind of fall back from the connection. Yeah, this probably started to feel overwhelming for them. Maybe they had never experienced such a great romance before. So they just wanted some breathing space. They wanted some air. They wanted... Maybe some time alone. Yeah, because you see how she's sitting in her backyard by herself in a lounge chair. And she's just taking comfort in the ordinary things. Like, she's got her dog keeping her toes warm and she's feeding the birds and the squirrels. So, yeah. it's it's. I'm getting the feeling that there's a lot of love here. And for your person, they've never experienced such a such good feelings before and they just wanted to fall back for a little while and just maybe um re what do you call it regain their composure yeah maybe it's starting to feel over maybe it started to feel overwhelming all oh, this good love yeah but anyways let's move on over and let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. So we got the Eight of Pentacles, and it's with the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, so like I said, you some of you, you're experiencing your person just wanting, maybe just, just go visit their parents, just take a little break from the connection. Because like I said, some of, for some of you, your person is just not used to all this good love, so... They just want to regain their composure and composure and just 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 um try to sit straight up. I don't know what they're thinking, but anyways, while they're taking a break, you're actually motivated and inspired because the Eight of Pentacles, the card that that's above the word present, it's about being motivated, inspired, having a lot of passion, working really hard. So you're working hard and just trying to make sure that everything is being maintained. And you you could be trying to come up with ways to impress your person when they come back. 
Yeah, because the Three of Pentacles is here, the card below the word present. It's about making an offer, maybe. It can be about um, uh, collaboration, teamwork. It can be about some benefits. It can be about um, cooperation, trying to get the person to cooperate with you. Um, or it could be about trying to work things out. So, something like that. But that's what's coming up. Yeah, you're trying to keep everything together and maybe try to come up with new with new ways to keep the connection fresh by, I don't know, coming up with teamwork or some type of benefits. Or just trying to get your person to maybe stay on the same page with you. Yeah, so let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We got this Two of Swords, and it's with the King of Pentacles. Two of Swords, well, it's actually about pulling back. Yeah, so I'm getting the feeling that you could be dealing with someone, um, Pisces, that is... I don't know, there's, it seems like they're getting cold feet or they, they could be the type that sabotages things when they're good because they're not used to things being good. Because the two of swords is telling me that this person might, you might start to feel like this person is avoiding you. But the strange thing is, is that they want success with you and with the connection. And because the king of pentacles is the card below the word challenge and this is all about success yeah they want it to be secure they want it to be committed they want all the things that you want to be they want it to be stable but you got somebody here that could be a self-sabotager yeah because we already saw that they recently or in the past they fell back for a little while while well, you were working hard in the background being motiv motivated and inspired while well, they took a break and you were trying to come up with great new ways to keep the connection fresh and make things feel good when they come back and now it feels like your person could be Avoiding you all of a sudden. But the strangest thing, they want success with you. Somebody is getting cold feet. For some of you, this could be a relationship that is supposed to have a wedding or some type of big event. A marriage. I'm just getting, um, there's some type of marriage coming up, and your person is getting cold feet. There's some type of big event for you and your person. Some type of celebration, because the Four of Wands can be about celebrating, too. Celebrating. It could be about the wedding. Making plans, and your person is, they don't mean it, but they're sabotaging it. Yeah, so don't be surprised if, surprised if they start to avoid certain conversations or just block. You could feel like they're blocking what you're saying, or but they want success with you and the connection. Strangest thing. It sounds like some of you are dealing with somebody that sabotages things. They sabotage it when, when it's going good. Now, because it's a two of swords, this is telling me that for some of you, you're, you're dealing with the Gemini, Leo, or Aquarius. Now, the outcome is temperance and ace of pentacles. Well, it's showing that things will c c get back on track with temperance here. Things will be brought back to balance. Um, it just takes patience 
and that's what you get with temperance. So, somebody is just getting scared because things are so, so good, and they're probably just not used to a good relationship. Things are brought back into balance with temperance here, and it feels good. It feels like a fresh new start. Ace of Pentacles, the card that's below the word outcome. It's indicating things get started. It could feel like a fresh new beginning because your person, it looks like they could be coming around with temperance here. Ace of Pentacles, all about new beginnings on several levels. So things get started with you, you and your person again. You two are back on track. And it creates a whole world of new beginnings for you and your person. So the outcome is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, so that is your reading, Pisces. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, Pisces, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass and we'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care. I hope you come back and join me for the next Pisces reading, just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind the roles of the people can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed. Meaning you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or even a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates, because once again, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So Pisces, I can never say it enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading, and take care.